be coming to the house to make some food for him. I'm sure he's going to be expecting me by now. <sighs> what am I going to tell him concerning this plaster on my face? Well, I just have to tell him what I've already created in my head to say. That's it. Now I need to go upstairs and tell mom that I'm leaving. It's okay, but you have to be careful. Hmm? What of your sister? She went out with her friends. Her friends came here today? Yeah, they were here. Oh, that's good, but be careful, okay? Like I said. Okay, really? It's okay. Thank you, Mom. It's okay. Me have suddenly so urgent to the phone. What's going on, <sighs> babe? I'm sorry. Anyway, it's Annabelle. She called me on phone and she was sounding urgent as as well. And I don't know. She said I should inform you so we can come over to her place tomorrow. I don't really know what the problem is. And secondly, I wanted to see you because it's been long and I missed you. <laughs> <laughs> but are you sure everything is okay with Annabelle? I don't know. I think if we get there, we'll get to know what the problem is. True, though. True. My love, I miss you too. You've not been seeing you now. Walk, 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 walk. Waiting up. Yeah, you know now. Government walk, walk, walk. It's raining your body. You are the one packing this money in this country. Ah, why would you say that? Well, of course, you. you're looking good as well. Look at you. Don't start. Oh Wait, my God. Um, that restaurant and get food. No problem. Bills on me. Don't worry. Ah! <laughs> I trust you. <laughs> What's your face? I slipped and hit my face on the wall. Jesus. Why? When did this happen? Last night. Yeah. Last night? Ah, oh, goodness. Is it been Baby, I'm fine. But you have to be very careful. Hmm? Be more careful next time, okay? I will, so... Did you get the food stuff so I can start cooking already? Yeah, they're in the kitchen. But this thing that happens to you, I'm not happy. Mm. How can you allow this of beautiful skin to, to get It's a mistake like now. It's a mistake. It happens. It's an accident. Please. And I don't want anything to happen to your skin. You're too precious to me, okay? Please. Okay. You have to be very careful next time. 
cook you. I promise I will. Thanks to go to the kitchen and start cooking now. Yeah. You need to do because I'm very, very hungry. You should. <laughs> you have missed your food. Don't worry, I'll give you something very, very delicious. Alright, I go and do it. I'll be waiting for you. Okay, baby. I love you. I love you more. Please go, I'm hungry. <laughs> Sweetheart, I want to beg you. Let Brian go. <laughs> Another good man will come. Your sister is engaged now and about to get married. Don't you see? I don't see it, Mom. And no, I won't let Brian go. Brian is mine. But they belong to each other now. Can't you see that the the, the they are so in love with each other. Can't you see you're doing it again? I mean, this right here is the problem I always have with you, Mom. You're always taking sides with Annabelle. And when it gets to my turn, you never want to know my side of the story. How can you say a thing like that? I love you two so much. I love you equally. Well then, tell your other beloved daughter to back off. To stay the hell away from Brian because, like I said earlier, he's mine. Brian is mine. Brian is mine. How is Brian yours? Why do you keep saying that? Uh, years ago, I was at this bar with Annabelle. And somewhere in the room was this guy. Good looking. I walked up to him and we got talking. It was a vibe. The conversation was flowing. We were having a moment. Annabelle, on the other hand, was very edgy. She didn't want to have any of that going on. She just wanted to go. So she kept pressing me to leave the place with her. Well, she succeeded in disorienting me and I had to leave with her. But before I left, that guy slipped his business card into my pan and I put it in my handbag, promising him that I'd give him a call. I went home. I wanted to call him. And guess what, mommy? What? The business card was gone. I couldn't find it. I searched for it everywhere. I was confused. I asked Annabelle if she saw it or took it, and she said, no, no. She declined heavily, and I was distraught. I was hurting in my heart because I didn't give that guy my number. I only took his card, promising to call back, and there I was in the big dilemma between the devil and the deep blue sea, clueless, not knowing what to do and how to do. Days rolled into weeks, and my heart hurt even more. Just when I was starting to get over it, Guess what happens, mommy? What's happened? Annabelle, one month later, showed up with the same guy, this time introduced him as her boyfriend. And mommy, that guy is Brian. Yeah, same Brian. So imagine how berserk I went. And then it all made sense. It made perfect sense. It was truly Annabelle who stole that business card from my bag. And when I had called Brian, I'm guessing she seduced him into sleeping with her and now they're an item and I'm the one who's supposed to back off. How sure are you? Mom. Brian has been resident in my heart. It's been hard to roll him over. The past days, weeks, months, years have gone by and I still want that guy. And if I can't have him, nobody will. How sure are you with this story? Oh, I am 100% sure. Please, I want to beg you. Time has passed. Let it go. Leave Brian for your sister. They are, they 
love with each other. They are about getting married. I'm begging you. Another man will fall in. Please leave Brian for your sister. I'm begging you. Please. Read my lips. I won't. Wilfred! Excuse me, ma'am. Wilfred! What is going on in my house? My own children have turned my peaceful into a war zone overnight because of a man. Look at my elder daughter. Now making a threat. I have to do something before one kills another. But what should I do? I'm so confused. Even if I tell Annabelle to leave Brian for her sister, I know she will not. Besides, I need to confirm when he first told you from Annabelle first before making my final decision. Yes, that's what I will do. Let me wait for Annabelle to return first and then hear from her. Who is that? Here? Is my mommy in? Uh, yes, she did inside. Mm -hmm. Ah, madam, you don't bring any shopping come. Next time, silence. Oh, okay, madam. Is that supposed to be the answer to my greeting? Well, if that's what you want to hear, I'm coming from Brian's house. <laughs> Did you say Brian? You heard me right. Do you have any problem with that? Oh, yeah. Really?
daughter, she slapped me first. I believe I did, and that's because she went visiting Brian, contrary to my warnings. You mean you slapped your sister because she visited Brian? Crazy. Straight to her dead. Can two of you stop this madness right now? You see that slap you gave me? I will give it to you. If you don't stop it now, you are more. Ah! <laughs> what is it? Can stop? Now I'll give you. If you don't stop, I'll do something broken in our heads now. Give me it! Stop it! Now put a few to my side. Oh, you want to fight me? Please, Nim, forgive me. I don't want anything to happen to you. You are all that I have. Please, forgive me. I am sorry. Do you care okay if I leave or die? Do you care at all? I wish my husband was alive. <laughs> Mother, please forgive me. I promise this will never happen again. Please. I don't know. What if Ned is the one causing all of this problem? No matter how I try to avoid it, she's, she keeps coming. She keeps coming after me. I'm sorry. How is she your problem? What happened? Mother, I came back from Brian's house. Saw my sister seated at the sitting room. I greeted her. Mom, she asked where I was coming from. I said, I'm coming from Brian's house. The next thing she stood up and slapped me. What was I supposed to do? Mommy, I have had enough of her intimidation. I can't take it anymore. I am a human being. It doesn't matter if she's the older one. Is that really what happened? No, that was what happened. That was what happened. Nothing else. That was how the whole fight started. Annabel, I want to ask you an honest question and I want the truth from you. Go on, Mom. Your sister said you stole her business card. That Brian gave her that card two years ago. And you stole it, went behind her to seduce Brian. Mommy, wait, 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 wait. Me, Annabelle. <laughs> I stole her business card and seduced a man. Oh, come on, Mom. There are some things you shouldn't believe. Do you really believe that? That me, Annabelle, stole a man's card and seduced him? So tell me the truth, what happened? Mom, this is what happened, okay? I met this, or rather we ran into each other in my company when he came to fix our system. I never knew that this is the same guy my sister pointed to me at the bar. But I didn't get to see this guy's face. And of course you know me, I am not good with keeping faces, right? Okay? A month later, I introduced Brian, my boyfriend, to my sister. That was when my sister told me that this is the same guy she pointed to me at the bar. How am I supposed to know that? How? I didn't see this guy. I didn't even know Brian and Woody Fred had a conversation, talking about giving his business card to her. 
But I, I am not a magician. I am not supposed to know these things. There was no, it, there was no proper introduction between Brian and Winifred. There was no one. It's okay. Now me, Annabelle, St. Tuesday man, I stole a business card. That was what Winifred told you. It's okay. okay. I know it's a misunderstanding. I will find a permanent solution to this. Okay? Calm down. Need to find a permanent solution to all of this. It's okay. It's okay. I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry for this whole drama, mother. I'm sorry. It's okay. <laughs> So how is mom and your sister? Mommy is not fine. She's been crying. Why? What happened? It's Winifred. She fought me again. What? Why? Why, why, why would she do such a thing? Oh, what is all this now? What is wrong with your sister? Huh? Just like that. Just like that, my love. I had to slap her back. I mean, we engaged in a very serious fight. Huh? No, now, why, why is Winifred doing this? How, how can she be fighting you because of me? What is wrong with her? You see, I, I'm coming to your house. I, I'm coming to stop this madness. I want to stop this madness that, she, that she's exhibiting. I don't like it. What is wrong with her? No, don't tell me there is no need. I'm coming to your house right away. I'm coming to settle all this. No, I will be there. I will be there this minute. My guy, what I just did, they wait for. I don't get joy. I tell you. I don't get joy. I tell you. I got my phone. I said my client. Hello, Jack. Ah uh ah. -uh. Mama, the mama. Mama, when get doings? Mama, what's up now? What did they happen? Again, will they provoke me, Jack? I won't make me manage the person. Because the person is not the person. Ta! Ta, mama, who be that? Ta, they want the person well. No, now. How can our person go provoke you now, mama? When me, when be Jack, they here with you. Mama. The person won't die. No! Tell me, the person won't die. It'd be like saying I die. The hungry See, Mama, it's not supposed to provoke you, but as a matter don't be like this now, Mama. How you want to move me down? But wait first, Mama. Who be this person? Who be this person, Mama? I'm going to show from the kebab tomorrow. Tell Prince say repeat. Oh, mama, I know some my blood they hot now. Me are the fish and I want to go rust the wire wire now now like this now everywhere. I be yes. Now yeah. wow, but mama know ya one now. Anyhow tomorrow now, know ya one now. We go the matter. Mama, mama, just they play me one tape now. So say you get person where I know ya. How person go annoy mama? How can I wait me day here? Mama, now I walk now. We will the fuck up down. But what you pay me? Now say, mama, say no be today. Hi! That's what you will be doing. That one day, Sha. But you see this deal, you go strike him. Hello? Elvis, I did. I'm fine. I'm going to Annabelle's house now. 
Her sister fought her again. She came to the house and prepared a delicious meal for me. We had a good time. After that, she left just an hour ago and she called me that she had a fight with her sister. I wonder. Mm. I'm going there right away to settle this once and for all. Mm. No, 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 don't worry. I'll handle it. Right. I'll handle it. I'll call you, okay? So, how are you doing? Ah, uh, okay, we didn't find you. I nah, just found that a hungry man. No, say if money no day hand, you don't go to eat in the shop. Okay, now. Um, I, I understand you. Yeah, that's good. Uh, just have this, eh? Uh, Use it and cool off yourself. Okay? Okay, God bless you. Bless it. God oh, bless you. Thank you, sir. I go by bread and granite. We can keep for this house in the sea. I go come by here. We will come for the bread and granite. We will come for the bread and granite. Oh, look who we have here. Um, it's Mr. Handsome in flesh and blood. William Fred, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Please get your hands up. What do you think you're doing? Oh, it's like I'm doing. Is it now a crime to touch my man? Get your hands off me. This minute. Please. I'll show you what else I can do. Don't you dare! Touch those filthy hands of yours on my man. <laughs> Baby. There goes little Miss Barbie in pink regalia. <laughs> what gonna come down, aren't you? <laughs> this is gonna be interesting. I don't have anything to do with you. Stay away from you. You should be ashamed of yourself, really, Fred. Ashamed of what now? Sis. I said, don't you dare! Stop it! <laughs> God, if I don't leave him alone, what will you do? What? Willie, I beg you to stop. Okay. Winifred. Stop the madness at once! Winifred, stop Make it! Babe, babe, it's okay. What? Babe, stop. I mean, make me stop. Is mom around? Where's mom? She's upstairs. Please, I want to see her. I'll get mom for you. It's okay. Stay yeah. away from this bitch. Go, go. Go. So we can Don't go. Don't come close to me. Don't come. Is he not touching him? <laughs> That's me. Oh. Oh, Mom. You're here. Good evening, Mom. How are you? I am fine. I was uh, in my room reading my Bible when Anabel came to tell me that you were here. I said, let me step down and see you at once. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry for pulling you out. It's okay. Let's 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 all sit down. All right. You're welcome. Winnie Fred, yeah. Winnie Fred, yes, yeah. Please. Come sit here with me. Come sit here with me, darling. <laughs> <Hey, it's okay. laughs> 
This is going to be interesting. Mom. Yes. Mom, I'm really sorry for bringing you out from your room. It's okay. I am here to clarify something. Okay. I'm here for us to discuss like adults. That's beautiful. I, I was saying that I will call you tomorrow or next. In fact, that this week I will make sure I call you. I want to believe that the reason I wanted to call you is the same reason that brought you here now. Yeah, thank you, Mom. And thank God everyone is here. Winifred, can you stop pressing that phone? Let's have this civil discussion. What the hell? I'm with you guys. I mean, I can hear you. Go on. Okay, let's go on, son. Um, it happened a few years ago. Okay. At a bar, when I met Winifred. We had some conversations and she collected my business card that she's going to call me. But I expected the call I didn't see. She didn't call. And I had to forget about that. Meeting Annabelle, I believe is, is destiny that joins us together. I never knew her before. I never knew it, she was Winifred's sister. So God knows, I never had any intention of going into mercy with her. There was no emotional attachment. All I wanted was just to be a casual friend, for us to be normal friends. It's Annabelle that I love. I love Annabelle so much. Since I met Annabelle, the love I have for her increased a lot. That is why I am here, so I can clarify everything. You know what? This is bullshit. Just shut up already. Because I know you loved me the first time you set eyes on me. If she didn't steal that card, you stole the car. Oh, you shut your dirty, stinking mouth. How can you even open this gutter and say that I and Annabelle stole a car? That I don't even know existed. Ah, uh, because you did. You fucking stole that card. I am tired of you. You are the one who is this. Are you stole one of them? Baby, it's okay. Baby, it's okay. Some of them stole. You are a thief, a petty thief, and you want to be a shy and silent of you. Baby, it's okay. What kind of human being is this? Are you a human being? You are an animal. Ah, uh, it's okay. Can you stop? You want to fight here now? Mom. Baby. Both of you should stop. Mom, the honest truth is, Annabelle did not steal the business card. I never received any call from Annabelle, nor any text message. Annabelle and I meeting each other is just destiny. Oh, you know what? Shut the fuck up! Because this is bullshit. Now you sound like a fool. I mean, I do love this guy, but you sound like a fool right now. What do you mean destiny? What bloody destiny are you talking about? Because as I recall, you love me the moment you set eyes on me. You couldn't wait to have me. If this stupid bitch didn't steal your card, shut, shut up! Shut, shut, shut up! 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 Shut Annabelle, stop right now! You know what? I ain't got time for this. But I'll leave you with this. You are gonna have to be dead before you can have him. You're crazy! What is it? You're sick in the head! What is it? What is it? Come back! What are you going to do? Walk away! That's it! Now you stop! She walked out on you, Mom. Can you stop right now? A daughter walked out on you! Enough! 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 We are done! Mommy, did you see that? Did you see she just walked out on us now? Um, I don't know why Winifred is doing this. Huh? Is marriage by force? I never promised her that I'm going to marry her. Huh? The friendship I wanted never existed. 
I don't owe her anything. I don't owe Winifred anything. What is wrong with her? It's okay. I know that um, she will no longer fight in this house again. It has been clear to her and she understands your statement now. There will be no fight again in this house. What is clear to her? What is clear to her, mom? Does she look like someone who is ready to give up? I don't think so. The Willy friend that just left here now is not ready to give up, mom, and you know it. Babe, calm down. Hmm? It's enough. Stop exaggerating things. Thank you. Okay? You're right. Let's assume I'm, I'm exaggerating. But I know what I'm saying. I know what I'm saying and I'm sure, and I'm sure she's up to something. I just hope she's not planning to harm us. Will you shut up? Can you hear yourself speak? You're talking about your blood sister here for Christ's sake. Mommy, I have not forgotten that. No, I know she can be conventional, but not harming you. You shouldn't say that about your sister. I am not forgetting the fact that she's my blood sister. But I know who my sister is. I know what she can do. Annabelle, 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 Annabelle it's okay. Winifred can do such a thing. <laughs> okay? It's okay. Okay, okay I won't, I won't um, say anything again. Mom, I won't. Um, I have to burn my way now. I have done what I'm here to do. Leave. Honey, let me see you off. It's okay. Thanks, baby. I want you to avoid every confrontation and abuses from your sister. Please. I want you to avoid whatever she do for the sake of mom and I, please. Please. Okay, I promise I won't fight. Come here. Take care of yourself, okay? You too. I have to go now. Bye, baby. Need to miss you. I will miss you, Mom. Don't worry. Just take care of yourself. I will. You too. All right. <laughs> okay, bye. Okay, bye. How are you? I'm uh, fine. You're fine. Okay. Um, we greeted Winifred, but she didn't respond. I hope everything is alright. Uh, everything. Everything is fine. Really happy. Brenda, please let's go. She's not the one who came to see after all. Let's go inside, please. No, it's okay. Oh. Um, you can go back. Okay. Yes, with my sister. 
and I sustained this from there. Oh, no wonder we greeted her and she didn't respond. Yes. Where exactly? Uh, as we were about entering the compound, and she was about driving off. <laughs> My friend is so childish. You mean you greeted her and she did not respond? She kept her face right away, trash or something. So childish. Well, guys, I'm sorry about that. So she always sustains the same age to you, so probably she's so pissed off. How about that she's still pissed off? Whatever. So, tell us, what is it you wanted to tell us? What is that you have Winifred went to Brian's house to see him on Friday. I don't get it. Why? To do what exactly? Why, why are you asking that kind of question? Is it not obvious she went there to seduce him? Because if she was looking for her, she has a phone to call her. So why are you sounding like you don't know what's going on, babe? Like, you, you, you're updated. You should know. She went there to seduce him, nothing else. No, that's not right. Why would you say that? How did you know she went there to seduce him? Is it not obvious? Well, Brenda, make her shock you. She's right. That is exactly what she went there to do because Winifred did not even deny it. What? Are you, are you kidding us right now? I am serious. According to her, she said she met Brian before me. That Brian is hot. Okay, is it actually true that she met him before you? Yes, this is what happened. Winifred and I went to this bar two years ago for some juice, right? She pointed at this cute guy to me. I gave blind eyes because I didn't see anything fascinating about this guy. Besides, you girls know that I'm not into men. Yeah. That's it. So, if that's the case, how did you and Brian meet? Meeting Brian is divine. I don't even know how to start. There is this period my company had issues with their system. Brian was the tech engineer that was employed to fix them. I didn't know this guy. Okay? He came into my office. We started talking. We exchanged contacts. We kept on talking and communicating. And one thing led to another. We fell in love. It was natural. There was not like <laughs> a month later I introduced Brian to my sister. And right there, my sister told me that this is the same guy she pointed to me two years ago. Just a serious. Boy. What kind of relationship does your sister have with Brian? None. According to Brian, none. Unfortunately for my sister, she lost the business card given to her by Brian. They didn't communicate. They didn't even see each other since that day until I introduced my sister to Brian. And right there, she told me that this is the same guy she pointed to me two years ago at the bar. Wow. <laughs> what a story. Wow. <laughs> you know what? Let us start up well. One side. Hmm? The only thing I have to tell you right now, you see your man, hold him tight. Do not give your sister that opportunity to take what rightfully belongs to you. I know, where, get she that. know where she can't. Do you know what I'm finding strange right now? Eh? Do you know what I'm finding strange? It's the fact that Brian does not even have feelings for you. Hmm. How can you be fighting for someone that does not have feelings for you? She I does not care. She doesn't care if she's wanted or not. She doesn't care if Brian wants her or not. All she oh. wants is Brian and she's so determined to have Brian by all means. <laughs> this is very embarrassing. I'm embarrassed on my <laughs> You are fighting for a guy that does not have feelings for you. Huh. Huh. Brian is my happiness. We really will never and can never take Brian from me. He is mine and that's it. That's strongly behind you, girl. Mama, the mama. That mama won't get going. Mama won't sabi game. 
Mama will be the person with the game. Abi? Mama, just mention the person and so that you don't. Don't. It's my sister. What? Mama, share you the one Jesus. You won't make we kidnap your sister. No, no, nah, Mama. I'm out in the sob now. I'm out in the sob. It's none of your business. You are going to do as I instruct you to. All right. All right. All right. When you have your hands on her, keep her safe. Feed her and treat her good until I figure out what I want to do with her. You understand? I might not get a problem with my for that one. Now maybe Jack. I need some way you talk. Now so you go do that. Okay. Take this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. When the job is done, I'll give you more. <laughs> Mama, you know get wahala now. Mama, now you be the mama when get doings. Now you be the mama when I they call Aza. Mama. Mama. <laughs> mama, mama, you don't finish your work now. See what you carry for. You don't finish. I tell you. I'll take my leave now. Okay. And I'm counting on you guys to do a clean job. Mama. Trust us. Thank you, Mama. Alpha. Give it to Mama now this time. Mama don't know say me are the jack of all three. And I want to say I'm the jack of all three. Yeah. All works and no doings. It makes Jack. No doing. And Briggs. Very child. I'm watching the song now. I just say, Mama say Annabelle they close by 5 p.m. I don't think she talk be that. I want to take on the swap today now. One day since around 3 p.m. now. No, check out time now. I wish you no come work today. What's be your time for that? I know that my own no correct, so I don't understand. No, no. No, sister. See, eh? you know what you go do, please. What you go do, I be say. You go day here. You go see the observe till seven. Get or how you no know, see her before that time? We will just about this mission. How you see her? Maybe now she be this. Nice one, nice one. Yeah, yeah, now she. See, eh? the plan now. I say on how she just enter now. The enter. See how she go her car side. On how she just enter. Yeah, driver, they hear me, Abby. On how she just entered the car now like that, so guy, you follow her up. You get. So but we'll not go attack him until we run the reach that blue side. Now there is lots of cross. Are you here? Oh yeah now.